Listen, come on. Listen to me, damn it. Gunner, listen to me. Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are gonna be fucking rich, but mostly you and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But... The past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Anderson Dawes is a gangster and a killer. It's not hard to piss off a man like that. Well, his loss is my gain. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell. If this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. Yam yeah, Sang, or whatever the fuck you people say. <laughs> Close enough. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Khan, new orders from the captain. I know. He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be- Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. Fashing fun. You will bet. I'll break through to you eventually. You want to braid somebody's hair? Go find Maya. I'm busy. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the Oshinabi. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship, 
and on our scavenge missions. Haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. Time to find the rest of the crew. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it, three days ago? Lazy gentleman. Ship's diagnostics always come back good. The Artemis isn't much to look at, but she's built to last. Every time we exit this airlock, I pray that we'll return with our lives. Unfortunately, that's all we've been returning with so far. I used to suit up in the prep room with everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now, I keep my vac suit in my room. Maya has a plan for this meditation session. She's going to bring her makeup kit and wait until Virgil gets into a deep trance. Then go to town. Virgil. Virgil! <sighs> Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto dock repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. That sounds serious. Can we replace it? We can, and should. Normally I wouldn't recommend it. I could always open people up the old-fashioned way. But the twins get into more mishaps than a normal crew. A high-quality gem would ensure that I'm ready for their next disaster. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back, and I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow, just let me go. It just fell, okay? Well, I tell you! Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! Uh, hey, boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Okaka! Enough of this! Falota! And you wonder why I have to treat you like Maliwala? <laughs> We got a job, Baratnas. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months and you never have to work again. He said, he said, this is the next job. And he, the boss man. <sighs> Just like series, bossing everyone around. Only this time, no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? Uh. Uh. 
This isn't oh. serious. On the ship, I'm the EXO. Shit. I was only fucking with you, Copain. Come on, Baratna. So far, none of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. Supplies are always tight on long jobs, but we're running low on even the basics now. Arlen is right that Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder. Food in the belt is never fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. ETA, five minutes, drummer. Will do, boss man. Headed back to my room to suit up now. I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected. And a lot further away from anything else. Doors gave me everything. A job, a purpose, a community. Until he took it all away. A little token of my childhood on Ceres. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Belta Loader, but you are not a traitor. You love your belt. And right now, Bell is me. Busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Fucking make me. <laughs> Typical Martian? With the mouth that only knows how to kiss ass and spew caca. <laughs> I already beat Arlen's ass today. Guess Virgil can handle one more patient. I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. Cutting thrust. Prepare to enter float in three, two... <laughs> uh. Come on, let me hear it. You got me. <laughs> Fuck yes. Finally! <laughs> that was a good move. Kind of a cheap shot, though. If it was a cheap shot, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones against the ceiling. <laughs> Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you brittle bitches.
Arlen and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are going Holy to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire off from its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. It's hard for me to look at these moons without thinking about the Earther research colonies exploiting all the resources on them and giving nothing to the belt. That's... fucked up. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from her oxygen valve. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> Let's head out. Just remember to- Woohoo! As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayon and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his back suit. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut it! Go up! Whoa. Ah, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. Table scraps. Ah! Fuck! Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your soup, eh? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. still on it. So get scavenging! You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. If I stare at these too long, I might be the one throwing up in my suit. I've got an intact QPU here. Nice find. Fuel, oxygen, scrap metal, wiring. 
if we can use it or sell it, it goes in here. Pirates tore this place apart, but pirates aren't scavengers. Looks like the crew didn't surrender their heads to the pirates without a... Keep an eye out for trouble while you're setting up the containment vaults. You ever cut anybody's head off, Ixel? Back when you ran with dolls? One time, I cut a man's eyes out when he looked at me funny. <gasps> For real? Sure did. Wore them as earrings the next night. Pasheng Fong! Hmm. Doesn't look like a typical pirate attack to me. I agree. Maybe they were looking for something big and couldn't find it. Left the heads to try and scare off anyone else. Makes sense. Especially if they thought other people might come looking. Could be. The scuttlebutt around the Urshanabi has been pretty loud. This looks like a fabricator of some kind. Maybe for material printing? Do we? Yes! Gimme, gimme! Okay, time to scavenge. Drummer, looks like the officer's section is still intact. Go check it out. On it. You know the military. The brass always hoards the best shit. Hmm. <laughs> Let's hope so. We place these nav beacons on every ship we explore. They're supposed to help me cover the space and find more valuables. But usually I just go with my gut. I bet the crystal in this laser system could work for the autodoc. Hope it's still intact. Virgil. Guess what I found for you? A new laser crystal? Oh! Perhaps some dried mushrooms. Your first guess was right. Thank you, XO. With the auto dock repaired, I'll be able to bisect a human torso in less than a second. Let's not get too excited. Clean palladium in this recycler. Good pull, drummer. UNN officers always keep a backup water recycler for themselves. You were a UNN officer. Do you have a backup recycler for yourself? Of course not. I drink the same cloudy sludge as the rest of you. Mm-hmm. Commander, this is Private Takabe. The pirates have asked me to report the following. All crew members, except for those barricaded in the officers' quarters, have been killed or captured. The pirates do not wish to kill anyone else. If you open the gate now and allow them to complete their search, no more lives will be lost. And if you do not comply... Oh God, please don't! This map would be helpful if all the pieces were still together. No such luck. I did run a phase array scan. Everything matched the LIDAR, except for one gap in the captain's quarters. I'll check it out when I get in there. Arlen and Rayan's experience hauling minerals on Vesta has been a big help, even when they annoyed the hell out of me. Not a lot of particulates in the air filter. Virgil, how long do you think the bodies have been like this? A 
couple of days. That's my assumption, after analyzing the footage of the heads and the remnants of the precipitating battle. What can you tell me about the heads, medically speaking? From the uniformity of the incisions, it seems clear they were done post-mortem. It's very difficult to be precise if the victim is fighting back. Wait, did you just... That was a pressure-sensitive panel. It must be connected to... Quick, get away from there! Pashang, what? Combustion in five, four, three, two... <laughs> really? Oh my god, I wish I could see your face right now. I hope you're very proud of yourself. I'm gonna be honest, I really am. Hey, come. You've been flying a long time, never seen anything like this before. Nah, but when it comes to pirates, nothing surprises me. They're all monsters. Sounds personal. Put it this way, we ever capture one alive? All I need is ten minutes and my torch blade. The ship would smell like barbecue for weeks. Ah, oh, Pashang. Nice find. <laughs> Thanks. It appears I have one advantage over the pirates that were here. What's that? I know how to look up. Microwave energy gun. Not a bad choice for persuading someone to open a door. 